Today we're gonna to make a classic Greek sweet chocolate halva with tahini. This classic sweet is something that we used to buy all the time at the Greek store and we would have it with coffee or in between meals, but it's not something that we used to make at home, but I wanted to make it for you guys today because it is one of my favorites. I know I say that a lot. I really do like to eat. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this today. We have two cups of tahini. So you can buy this by clicking the link below and buy 776 organic tahini. So we have our tahini here. We're gonna use one and a half cups of convection sugar. So I'm gonna add that into our mixture. I'm gonna slowly add this in. And this is gonna come out a little bit different than the one that you're gonna buy at the store. At the store, it's really, really hard. And you cut it up. People will eat it often in Greece. When we were younger, my mom used to buy it and my grandmother a lot of times during Lent because it is um, a Lenten sweet. So we would eat this a lot at home, but the one that we're gonna make now, this is such a delicious delicious recipe. However, it's a little bit softer, and you guys are gonna see. So we're gonna mix this in. And then our next ingredient is honey. And again, you can click the link below and buy the 776 honey that I'm gonna use here. We're gonna do one fourth cup of honey. Add that in. And we're just gonna do one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna mix all of these together. So once we get all of these ingredients, kind of all the sugar combined with the tahini, I'm now gonna use my clean hands to kind of knead it together because I wanna get all of this. Make sure there's nothing, no sugar left all the honey. This is so easy, so quick and easy. You can make this and it's gonna last a while because it doesn't, it's not gonna go bad. So we're gonna put this together here. So this is our halva. That's all we have to do. You're gonna push this into a loaf pan that I have lined with um, saran wrap so it doesn't stick, but I wanna make it today with chocolate chips because I love chocolate. So we have here a half a cup of chocolate chips and just fold this in. So you can make it with or without, but who doesn't love chocolate? Just add it in. So we're gonna mix that in there here, folding them in. Super easy. And now we have our lined loaf pan here. I'm just going to take this mixture, whole thing, and we're going to press it down to make it nice and even. To smooth out the top, I'm going to take the bottom of the spatula and I'm just going to press it just to make it a little smoother. And then I'm going to even cover it with another piece of saran wrap because then that way I'm gonna cover the whole thing and I'm gonna put it in the fridge. It needs to be in the refrigerator for at least three hours, but my suggestion is overnight. Just easier because then if you're gonna make it, just put it in the fridge and then it's ready for the next day. I'm gonna go stick this in the fridge and I'll show you the finished product. cut up our halva so you guys could see how amazing this looks. It's not as hard as the one that you would buy at the store, but the texture is delicious. For the full recipe, visit NikkiGlekis.com. And don't forget, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and check out my Amazon storefront for you to buy these products so you can make this at home.